I'm Navyansh Malhotra, and I'm a student at Tangling Trust. I'm a 15-year-old maker, tech enthusiast, and entrepreneur. I'm highly interested in Industry 4.0, digitalization, and disruption. Having been super interested in STEM from a young age, I built product concept that solved pro personal problems of mine using open source software and hardware. I've had the opportunity to participate in multiple events, which I'll tell you more about later. I've been able to share my passion with many people, and I feel that I'm doing my bit in, in creating a domino effect and getting more people to think like makers. Now you may be wondering, who are makers? The fundamental idea of the maker mindset is to try new things and not be scared of failing. I personally started off by, with simple projects, then followed instructables, then went on to more complex projects, and now I believe I'm at the stage that people get inspired by my projects. I also believe that asking why not is a fundamental thing to, to the maker mindset. Why can't rockets be reusable? Why can't autonomous ships be run from Arduino? And why can't factories be decentralized with 3D printers? Cyber physical devices have always amazed me. From a young age, I was fascinated by how things work. I started by trying to make RC planes and RC cars and trying to tinker with them. And that is what led me into more advanced electronics and circuitry. After shifting to Singapore in 2015, I joined Robotics Connection, which allowed me to take part in the ID 2015. My team and I made a smart fan that wouldn't work, that just wouldn't work till the time we had to present. But when it did finally work, we won the gold medal for engineering. And that event really taught me perseverance and the importance of perseverance. As few of my peers may remember, in year eight, I presented, presented to my year group on the possibilities of Arduino and open source tech. And I was hoping to get some of my friends interested in the world of making. In 2016, I participated in my very first Make Affair. Mr. Ford's very kindly attended and supported me. I presented Smitch version one, but what was most important from the Make Affairs was that I met people and expanded my network. My very first hackathon was the SUTD hackathon in 2017. Although I only got to know about this event because of the Make Affair. For those of you who don't know what a hackathon is, it is where you have 24 hours to make a prototype followed by pitching and demos. You have to work all night, and in this very hackathon, I made the mobile Braille printer. It was a great experience for me, and I surely wanted to do it again. As my network grew, as well as the interest in the maker movement in Singapore among peers my age, more events started coming up. I was invited to speak at Tech Saturday where I could share my projects and even get more people interested into the possibilities of technology. This was the first time I was on a public stage in front of such a big audience, and personally, miking up was one of the coolest experiences. I've also been certified as a mentor and catalyst by Intel, as well as a mentor by Autodesk. These catalyst programs has enabled me to mentor young innovators and share my knowledge and experience. Earlier this year, I showcased multiple product concepts at the Make of Fair 2018, including Smitch version 2 and Smart IR. Both of these concepts I made as they make my daily life more convenient. I was also invited to speak at the Maker Conference 2018 on how makers learn by failing, so should companies. This topic was initiated with my brief experiences at various companies in Singapore. Working together with Mr. Bleach, I was excited to see the DT Lab come, come to life through the CAD CAM CCA. Seeing my peers and friends enjoy making was very encouraging. We presented what we made at the One Not Science Festival. Back when I was in year nine, we had a mini maker fair in Tangden. I led the Arduino group, and hopefully I was able to get more students and fellow peers interested in the possibilities of open source technology. Most recently, a group of friends from school joined me at a hackathon where we made Ariot, an augmented reality IoT interface. Making an AR app was a first for all of us. Although as we are all true makers, we weren't scared of failing, and we weren't scared of trying new things. For most of them, it was their first hackathon, and we as a group hope to continue the trend. In summary, I believe that one thing leads to another. Learning by doing, failing, and doing again is an essential part of making. It is this mindset that I encourage more people to embrace. And I also believe that prototyping and innovation don't need to be high-cost exercises, 
and is open to everyone.